Hello viewers, this is Wagoda Ronald taking you through this tutorial for all level mathematics. In this video, you're going to look at the topic of inverse of a matrix. So, this video is suitable for students in senior 3 and senior 4. So, the inverse of a matrix A is noted by this. So, each time you see this symbol a to power negative one so as long as there's a power of negative one in matrices that is meant to mean inverse of ma that matrix so if it is b to power negative one that is inverse of matrix b if it is a to power negative one that is inverse of matrix a so it is given by the formula one over magnitude of a remember we said this symbol means determinant so magnitude of a, of a matrix is the determinant of that matrix so 1 over the determinant of that matrix multiplied by the this symbol now means adjoint multiplied by the adjoint of the of that very matrix so we shall see how to get we have already seen how to get the determinant in the previous video so we shall now see how to get the adjoint of the matrix and after that we shall see how to get the inverse of a matrix so, yes, so here, adjoint of a 2 by 2 matrix is obtained by interchanging the entries in the major diagonal and also changing the signs of the entries in the minor diagonal. For example, so if I have a matrix A which is A, B, C, D, it implies that the determinant is this which I have already seen in the previous video. So, product of the entries in the major diagonal minus product of entries in the minor diagonal to give you that. But for the adjoint, we said you interchange the entries in the major diagonal. So this is the major diagonal. Here there is A and this there is B. So what does that? How do you interchange? It means that this A will replace this D and this D will replace this A. I think you can see what has happened here. That where there was A, we have now put D, and where there was D, we have now put A. So that's that's what we mean by interchanging. What about changing the signs? Changing the signs means that if this B was positive, you make it to be negative, and if it was negative, you make it to be positive. For example, this B is now positive, so what we do, we put a negative here, and also this C was positive, so what we do, we put a negative there. So what, that's what they mean by changing signs of entries in the minor diagonal. So basically, that is what they mean by adjoint of a matrix. So now that we know determinant and we know adjoint, we can come and say that the inverse of that matrix is given by the formula 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint matrix, which will come up with this 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint matrix. So this, the whole of this now, the whole of this will be our inverse of that matrix A, which is here. So now that we know the formula for getting inverse of a matrix, we shall do a number of, of examples for you to grasp the concept of how to get the inverse of a matrix. So we shall start with example 1 which came from UNEB, 19, UNEB 2019, paper 1, question 12a, and it says, given the matrix says B which is that 2, 8, 16, negative 4, and matrix C which is 6, negative 4, negative 12, 8, find the inverse of b plus c so what we are going to do we have to first add the two matrices to get b matrix of b plus c so come and substitute here where there's b put that where they c you put that then you add so to add we shall say 2 plus 6 to come up with 8 then 8 plus negative 4 to come up with positive 4 then 16 plus negative 12 to come up with a positive 4 negative 4 plus h to come up with positive 4 so now that you have got matrix B plus C, we can go ahead and get its determinant first. So determinant will be this product minus this. So 4 times H times 4, which is that, and 4 times 4, which is that. So A times 4 is 32, 4 times 4 is 16. When I subtract the 2, I'll come up with 16. So that is our determinant of matrix B plus C. The next, I also have to get the adjoint. So adjoint will... So adjoint will be by interchanging first these entries i think we realize that in this case it means that this eight will come and replace this four and this four will come and replace this eight as you can see it here where there was eight we have put four and where there was 
before we shall we have put eight for the minor diagonal this was positive and this was positive so what we do we change the sign this will now become negative and this will also become negative so that is how they get the adjoint so now that you have got the adjoint shall multiply by one over the determinant so one over the determinant determinant was six so 16 so shall say one over determinant multiplied by adjoint will give you the inverse so what we shall do next is to use scalar multiplication so 1 over 16 will multiply each entry inside this matrix so 1 over 16 times 4 will give you negative 1 will give you positive 1 over 4 then 1 over 16 times negative 4 will give you negative 1 over 4 1 over 4 1 over 16 times negative 4 will give you negative 1 over 4 then 1 over 16 times 8 will give you positive 1 over 2 so that will now be our inverse which they wanted and now let's see how mass can be awarded so b1 was for this addition m1 was for you to substitute the formula and a1 for you to get the determinant then m1 was for this substitution and a1 for the output so basically that's what they wanted now we shall go to example 2. Example 2 came from UNEB 2018, paper 1, question 3, and it says, determine the inverse P power negative 1. So each time you see this power of negative 1, it means inverse of matrix of that matrix. So they, they want the inverse of this matrix P, which is 4, 6, and negative 4, negative 5. So we shall come here and say that first of all, given that matrix, we have to get the determinant. So the determinant will be this product, which is 4 times negative 5, which is here minus this product which is negative 4 times 6 which is here so 4 times negative 5 will give you tw negative 20 and negative 4 times 6 will give you pos positive now this is positive because this negative here and this negative here will cancel to give that positive that is why there is plus there so negative 4 negative 20 plus 24 will give you positive 4 what that is now our determinant so next we shall say inverse will be 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint how do we get the adjoint we said we interchange these entries for the minor diagonal so where there was 4 we have put negative 5 and where there was negative 5 we shall put 4 then next is to change the signs in the minor diagonal so this was positive it will now become negative and this was negative it will now become positive so this is the adjoint this is one over determinant so when i multiply the two i'll come up with this as my inverse so that is what they wanted now let's see how mass can be awarded so m1 was for this substitution a1 was for you to get the determinant m1 was for this substitution and a1 for you to get the inverse then example 3 came from UNEB 2016, paper 1, question 8, and says find the inverse of matrix A, which is that. So like you have already done, we are going to first get the determinant, so determinant will be 5 times negative 2, which is negative 10, then minus negative 3 times 7, which is negative 21. So negative 21 and this minus will give you a positive, so that is why there is a positive here. Then when you add the 2, you will come up with... 11 so that is our determinant next we shall come and so that the inverse will be 1 over the determinant multiplied by the addition so we interchange this so where there was 5 we shall put there 2 and where negative 2 and where there was negative 2 we shall put there 5 which is this then for the minor diagonal this was positive so it will become negative and this was negative it will become positive next is to multiply the two multiply this matrix to the scalar to come up with this as the inverse so now let's see how much can be awarded in this question so m1 was for this a1 for that m1 for this and a1 for that now we shall go to example 4 which came from your neb 1993 paper 1 question 12a which says find the inverse of a which is 4, negative 1, 2, 3. So we shall have to first get also the determinant. So the procedure is always the same. Get the determinant. So product of this which is 12 minus product of this which is plus 2 now because of this negative and this negative to come up with 14. Then inverse will be 1 over 4 of 
3 1 negative 2 4 to up with this when you multiply so with that the max will be still the same format m1 for that and a1 for this m1 for this substitution and a1 for that the next example 5 came from your name 1989 paper 2 question 14 and says given that my matrix a which is 2 4 negative 1 3 find the inverse of a so you know a we shall get this determinant so determinant will be 2 times this which is 6 then negative 1 times 4 to give you negative 4 but this po positive because this negative and this negative will give you a positive so in the end we shall get po come, up, come up with our determinant as 10 then therefore the inverse will be 1 over the determinant multiplied by the adjoint whereby where there was 2 we put there 3 which is this and where there was 3 we put there 2 which is here then this 4 was positive, it becomes a negative, this 1 was negative, it becomes a positive. Then when we apply by this color, we shall come up with that. So let's see how much can be awarded. So M1 for this and A1 for that, M1 for this and A1 for that. The next example 6 came from UNEB 1987, paper 2, question 14 and says find the inverse of 3, 2, 4, 2. So we shall come here and say let A be that. Therefore, determinant of A will be product of major, major diagonal, which is this, minus product of minor diagonal, which is that, to come up with negative 2 as our determinant. Therefore, the inverse will be 1 over negative 2 multiplied by the adjoint. So adjoint means where there was 3, we shall put there 2, and where there was 2, we shall put there 3. Then this 2 was po positive, it will become negative. This 4 was positive, it will become negative. So when I'm applied by this scale of 1 over negative 2, I'll come up with this matrix, and that will be my inverse. So let's see how much can be awarded. Now M1 will be for the substitution, A1 for output, M1 for the substitution, A1 for the output. So that brings us to the end of this video. What I'm going to do, I'm going to leave you with a set of questions on inverse of a matrix for you to grasp the concept. That brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded that the solutions for the assignment left will be available in the next video. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button below this video so that you can receive updates when the next video with the solutions has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who's not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that we can all benefit as a family.